Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have here Turtle. Turtle. Be joyful and trusting. Archangel Jules. Be joyful and trusting. So be happy and trust your intuition. And trust the universe here. Whale. Whale. Live as a fully conscious being, Archangel Mary and Julel, Julels. I can't pronounce these for love nor money. Now, what this is, is this is about being aware of everything that's going on round about you. Don't be shut down. Being conscious of everything. Now, I'm going to say this again. Charawite. 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 Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally and energetically by spirit. That's wonderful news. So be aware of your surroundings here. For some reason, spirit's telling you they're protecting you, but they want you to be aware of what's going on around about you here. So be open to things. Be paying attention. And trust your intuition if it's telling you something. Spirit, please show me the guidance in relation to this message. If it starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups, beautiful new beginnings coming in here, that's two aces on the table, the Chariot, now this is Cancer energy, so that could be relevant here, somebody with Cancer in their chart, Hermit energy is uh, Virgo energy could be relevant for some of you. The Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Now, there's definitely going to be progression here. Now, there's definitely disappointments and heartaches. There's upsets here. And Spirit is protecting you at this moment in time. Spirit are aware of what you're going through. They are aware of what you're going through. But what they're saying here is that this is a temporary place. You will get over this. The clouds do clear. Uh, it's the one card in the tarot that you can't sugarcoat. Uh, heartfelt disappointments in a certain area of your life. And this is causing a lot of discontentment. There's discontentment here in your life. You're not happy with things as they are. Now, this is about, you know, doing your soul searching. The, the answers are within you. I also would say, listen to your intuition. Don't kid yourself here. If something's, you're not happy with something, be honest about it. Listen to your intuition. Trust your gut feeling here. And look at what you're sensing and seeing around you. Be open. If you're conscious of things and you, you come away from this disappointing energy, if you're upset, you can't see clearly. So what Spirit's saying here is be open to things. Be conscious of everything around about you because that's when you'll start to find your blessings. You'll start to notice them here. You'll start to notice them. You need to be aware of what's opportunity because you don't want to miss out on these new opportunities for love, prosperity and happiness. Now, Spirit's saying here that you're going to have to move on, you know, to these new opportunities. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to listen to yourself, your intuition here. It's about taking yourself away on your own, doing your soul searching. The answers are within you. They're not within your environment. And for you to do that, it doesn't pay to be around antagonistic people, situations or environments. And do not doubt your ability or battle with yourself over the fact that you will be able to find that enlightenment. It's not in your environment. Choose your battles carefully here. Don't get involved in petty squabbles over what's went on. Just There's an acceptance that has to come with everyday life. And it's sadly, you know, this is change. Fives are changed. So don't get caught up in this. Don't get caught up with other people, discussing it, listening to other people. Go away on your own and look for the enlightenment and your intuition will guide you. And once you've got that enlightenment, you'll be able to see clearly to look towards new opportunities for happiness. Now, it's also new opportunities for stability. So this could be anything. This could be new love opportunities that come forward. This could be new contracts, new jobs, financial situations. Anything that's going to affect your stability in that sense, your home, anything. But you will start to see the way forward. But you, first of all, you've got to admit what's missing. You've got to do the soul searching and you've got to be open to the idea of new blessings coming in. So we need to let the heartaches pass. We need to heal from that first. Spirit is protecting you definitely at this time. And what happens is when you look for these new opportunities, you start to see them. 
there's new opportunities for happiness will come in. And what will happen is the emails, the texts, the good news, the forward movement all comes in together. There's going to be fast moving energy the minute that you're honest about your situation here. So you've hit a glass ceiling with something. Something's lost its luster. You may be happy in it before, but you're not happy in it now. So we need to look for this missing cup. There's the eight of cups. You need to look for the ninth cup and your ninth cup is wish and fulfillment coming in, contentment. So we're going to have to move forward here. There's no doubt about it. We're going to have to look at new opportunities here. It could be new jobs, new relationships, new places to live, uh, new ways of dealing with finances, financial investments, whatever it may be. But we need to move forward to these new opportunities and we need to be aware that we have them, that they're going to present themselves. And once we do that, there's your nine. You move towards this contentment and wish fulfillment that's meant for you. Now, we're all meant to be happy in life. We're meant to be enjoying life. If we're not feeling happy, it's because our intuition is telling us that we need to look somewhere else for it. So any kind of discontentment here has to be looked at because you shouldn't be miserable. You shouldn't be miserable. This is about getting advice. You could have legal advice, financial advice, professional advice of any kind. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. This could be you getting enlightenment, deciding what you want clearly now. You've listened to your intuition. You've done your soul searching. You can see clearly what it is you want, the path you want to go down. And this can also be you ready to speak up and communicate about your decision making. And this is karmic justice. If there's a legal situation, there'll be a fair outcome for everybody involved. But spirits reminding you, they will support you for your efforts. Whatever you put into something, you will get out of it. So it's equal scales. So if you're having to deal with a situation here where compromise is needed, be fair and just in your dealings with someone. Always remember that. Be fair and just with your dealings if there's is a professional or legal situation here uh, or advice that you're taking. You, do, you play it right, the universe will play you right. It's karmic justice, remember. What you put out here, you get back. And this is about baby steps towards stability again. So it might take a wee while. There might be new job opportunities here. New opportunities for study that are being brought to you. This can be Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy. But it's baby steps. Take your time. Look at the small print if you're signing new contracts here. New contracts of any kind. Leases, loans. Look at that carefully. Make sure that you know what you're signing up for. And take your time here to go forward. You might even want to gather some information, like I say, but you're definitely going to get onto this more fruitful path for growth. This is a one-win situation because you're taking up new opportunities that are going to make you happy. And there's your balance coming in. This is your balance. This is your reward card. This is the scales of justice. Things are going to work out for you. The efforts that you put in through being fair and just in your dealings with people and being honest about things, the universe will support. So you're going, to, you're going to go forward to create um, better balanced environments, financial situations that pay your bills. Like I say, a one-win situation, enjoying your relationships, enjoying your job, teamwork, being around the right people as well. And through time, and I did say it takes time, it will take time to build things, but through baby steps and hard work and commitment, you're going to be able to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labour. So you're going to create great stability in the future. So new job opportunities, for example, if you work hard, you could end up with promotion being a boss type figure. You know, you can work your way up the ladder. If it's new homes that you're investing in, you're going to create a beautiful home where you're going to be sitting back and feel safe and secure in it. So the future is good. It's definitely good. Um, but we're definitely going to have to um, be open to considering new options here. Abundance. Abundance. Great news is heading your way. Abundance is coming in in many shapes and forms and there will be good news comes in. Definitely good news. There's abundant times ahead here. Communicate. Communicate with others more freely. Freely. Beg your pardon. Communicate with others more freely. Speak up. You have the right to be heard. And this is what I'm saying to you. You might have to speak up here about the decisions that you're making. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.